Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to use JDate Chooser in this project. So this is my previous project and I want to add JDate Chooser in this project. By default there is no JDate Chooser installed in, this, in the palette of this NetBean. So you need to download it. So let us download the JDate Chooser. So type download jcalendar at first jcalendar.jar so toedter.com is the website to download the jcalendar click on that and scroll down the page and here we will find download the latest version latest version is 1.4 so click on jcalendar here it will start to download the download is complete here so let me extract this click on yes I need the LIV folder, right click on it, click on extract to specified folder. So let me extract this on desktop, click on OK. So the extraction is completed here and let me close this program also and LIV folder is here and here is J calendar which we need for our project. So let me open the NetBean program. So we have to import that J calendar in this palette. So right click on the palette and click on palette manager. So the downloaded file is a jar file. So click on add from jar and go to desktop. Click on LIV and J calendar is the jar file which we are searching for. So click on this one and click on next. Among them we need J dead chooser. So click on J dead chooser and click on next I will place this on swing control you can place it anywhere click on finish and click on close so J -J user arrives here in the swing control so let me drag and drop this in the project here and let me stretch this a little bit and then after let me drag and drop a label here and write down date over here and let me change this variable name also let it be get get user and now for inserting data I have created a database um, earlier so let me open the SQL server first I have created a table which will store name address gender knowledge subject but I have to add a column to store the data also. So for that let me expand this this TV and table. Right click on the table then after click on design and we need to insert a column here. So write down on date and variable type let it be date. Let it arouse null. So control S to save it. So we have created a database. Let me show you by clicking on select top thousand rows. So the date is the date column is created with all the null values here. So let me minimize this. Our database work is finished now. Now we have to perform the coding. We have to write the code for date. So double click on save button. So this is the coding that we have done earlier for save button which will insert name address gender knowledge subject and image in the database now your date is missing so let me add date now so our column name is date so let me place date over here and the values place a question mark one question mark now then after scroll down and before this PST thread execute update we have to write down the code for date so I'll be using simple date format simple date format let it be simple date format equals to new simple date format and let the format be uh, year it for then after month this year to 
write the month in capital letter otherwise you will get error and date other you can write in small letter here you should write in small letter month should be in capital letter and day should be in small letter so let me import this at first add import for java uh, then after let me declare a string variable to store the date string date equals to stf dot let us format it if format and our date date chooser name what is the name date underscore chooser let me copy this and place it over here dot get text it's a get date this is semicolon then after PST dot set string I have to set string I have to set the string into the database so ST string and up to 6 we have already done for image and now this will be 7 and here we have to provide date so this must go for inserting the date into the database so let me show you by running whether it works or not whether it inserts data in database or not so this is our window so let me provide some username here address comma mail suppose you know both java and python and is a student of computer science and you get the date b and this one March 15, 2018. Let me choose image. Let, let this be the image right now and click on save. So the data is inserted successfully. So let me show you in the database also whether it is inserted or not. Right click on it, click on select of thousand rows. So date 2018 315 is inserted into the database. So by this we are able to insert the database so uh, again i like to display the date in the j table also so for that we need to write the code again so for j table we have to use a we have to write a code in user class so double click on user class then after we have to declare a string variable for date so let it be date then after after the byte image write down for constructor write down uh, let it be string string date and again here this dot date equals to date and at last year let me copy this so it will be easy and get date and return and it will return date ok this much in the user class now I can go to the success class and click on design again now I have to add a column over here right click on table click on table contents then I have to click on column and altogether here are six column let me add a another column for date so write down date over here for date and click on close so date arrives over here now to display the date in j table we have to display the data that is stored in the database when the program is open so for that let me add a little code over here it is showing the error also so comma rs dot get string and variable name is date so i have added a little code over here on the array list so then after in show user also i have to add a code 
so yeah let me copy this one so if you are confused over here you can watch my previous video i have explained it in my previous video also let it be get date which we have defined earlier so this much code for displaying the date in date in the j table so let me show you by running whether it displays date or not okay i have got the error uh, because i haven't changed the array list size here let it be 7 for 7 object let me run it again click on sign in and it shows me the data which i have placed in the database so here is the date and the date is displayed here when i click on the data it should be the date should be displayed in this j date chooser also so for that let me close this and start writing the code for displaying the date in j date chooser so let me uh, go to the design again and right click on the table and go to events and click on mouse and mouse click so we have to write down a little code over here after the image so for that we have to enclose the uh, code in the try catch and block so for that let me write down try catch at first let me copy catch from somewhere else it will be fast catch here and let me write down some little bit code over the try block so first of all i need to get the selected row so selected row equals to name of our table is let me copy this name of our table and control v dot get selected row we will select the row which is Click by the user. Now this will select the row that is clicked by the user. Again, let me create a object of date. Date equals to new simple date format. I will be using the same date format that I have used while inserting the data. So let it be y y y. and dot pass so to provide the string over here string data then after model dot get value model dot get value add now as row comma and up to up to five we have done i comma five now for i comma six uh, s row comma six and place a semicolon at last and string will be capital then after let me input this date and again our Data chooser name. Let me copy this and paste it over here. Dot save date. So the date over here. Okay, let me see whether it works or not. Okay, I have inserted date and the date is displayed over here. 
so let me show you with a, the same is selected or not okay 15 is selected over here also so let me show you by inserting another data suppose this is um, alpha from the mock suppose it was only python today in the management let the take me Y and Tibet. Let the image. I'll upload another image. So put this one and click on save. The record is inserted successfully. Let me see whether it arrives here or not. Okay, it arrives here. And then let me save for the date. Okay, July 12 and this one March 15. So it works correctly. Okay, the same date is selected in the data chooser also so this much coding for displaying the date in the data chooser so for update also let me go to design and click on update and here i have to add a little bit code in this comma date date equals to what this much code over here let me copy the code that I have written earlier in the uh, save for save button. So it's from here, it will be easy. Okay, from here, okay, this much, copy this and paste it on the. So before the execute update, paste the code over, code over here and 6 7 it is fine now. Let me check whether it works or not for the update is uh, update button. And okay. And let me change the let me use the update button over here. Let me change the date at first. Let it be 2010. And let the month also be September 25. Let me the image also. Click on OK. The same image is selected. Click on update. And it is updated successfully. And we can view the updated date over here, which is selected over here also. So, this much code for the J date chooser. So, thanks for watching. Please like the video, subscribe my channel.